Tromsa, Northern Sami, Romsa, Finnish, Tromsa Kven, Tromsa, is a city and municipality in Troms County, Norway. The administrative centre of the municipality is the city of Tromsø. Outside of Norway, Tromsø and Tromsø are alternative speakings of the city. Tromsø is considered the northernmost city in the world with a population above 50,000. The most populous city north of it is Alta, Norway, with a population of 14,272. Tromsø lies in northern Norway. The municipality has a population of 72,066, but with influx of students it has over 75,000 most of the year. It is the largest urban area in northern Norway and the third largest north of the Arctic Circle. Most of Tromsø, including the city centre, is located on the island of Tromsø, 350 kilometres north of the Arctic Circle. In 2012, Tromsø had a population of 36 1,088. Substantial parts of the urban area are also situated on the mainland to the east, and on parts of Kvalloya, a large island to the west. Tromsøya is connected to the mainland by the Tromsø Bridge and the Tromsøysen Tunnel, and to the island of Kvalloya by the Sandanesen Bridge. Tromsø Airport connects the city to many destinations in Europe. The city is warmer than most other places located on the same latitude, due to the warming effect of the Gulf Stream. The city centre of Tromsø contains the highest number of old wooden houses in northern Norway, the oldest house dating from 1789. The Arctic Cathedral, a modern church from 1965, is probably the most famous landmark in Tromsø. The city is a cultural centre for its region, with several festivals taking place in the summer. Some of Norway's best-known musicians, Torbjorn Brundtland and Sven Berg of the electronica duo Roik Sop and Lean Marlin grew up and started their careers in Tromsø. Noted electronic musician Gaia Jensen also hails from Tromsø. The most famous soccer team in the area, Tromsø Ill, currently plays in the Norwegian Premier League. History. The area has been inhabited since the end of the Ice Age. Archaeological excavations in Tonsvika, just outside the city limits, have turned up artifacts and remains of buildings estimated to be 9 minus 10,000 years old. Middle Ages. A fortress on the frontier the area's rich Norse and Sami heritage is well documented. The Norse chief Dano there, who lived during the 890s, is assumed to have inhabited the southernmost reaches of today's Tromsø municipality. He described himself as living furthest to the north of all Norwegians, with areas north of this being populated by Sami. An Icelandic source from the 12th century also describes the fjord Melangen in the south of today's Tromsø municipality as a border between Norse and Sami coastal settlements during that part of the Middle Ages. There has also been extensive Sami settlement on the coast south of this border, as well as scattered Norse settlements north of Melangen. For example, both Sami and Norse Iron Age remains have been found on southern Kvaloya. The first church on the island of Tromsøya was erected in 1252. Ecclesia Sancti Mariae de Trums Juxta Paganos was built during the reign of King Haken Hakonason. At the time, it was the northernmost church in the world. Around the same time a turf rampart was built to protect the area against raids from Karelia and Russia. Trumsa was not just a Norwegian outpost in an area mainly populated by the Sami but also a frontier city towards Russia. The Novgorod state had the right to tax the Sami along the coast to Lingstuva and inland to the Skibot River or possibly the Malsolv River, whereas Norway was allowed to tax areas east to, and including, the Kola Peninsula. During the next 500 years Norway's border with Russia and the limits of Norwegian settlement would be pushed eastwards to Sorvaranga, making Tromsø lose its character as a frontier town. 1700s and 1800s The Paris of the North During the 17th century, 
while Denmark Norway was solidifying its claim to the northern coast of Scandinavia and during this period a redoubt, Skansen, was built. Despite only being home to around 80 people, Tromsø was issued its city charter in 1794 by King Christian VII. This coincided with, and was a direct consequence of, the abolition of the city of Bergen's centuries-old monopoly on the trade in cod. Tromsø quickly rose in importance. The Diocese of Halligeland was created in 1804, with the first bishop being Matthias Bonzik Crow. The city was established as a municipality 1 January 1838. Arctic hunting, from Nova Zemlia to Canada, started up around 1820. By 1850, Tromsø was the major centre of Arctic hunting, overtaking the former centre of Hammerfest, and the city was trading from Archangelsch to Bordeaux. The town also grew increasingly important in other maritime economic activities, with the first shipyard being established in 1848. In 1848, the teacher training college was also moved from Trondines to Tromsø, with part of its mission being to educate Sami scholars. There was a quota ensuring that Sami gained access. The teacher college was followed by the Tromsø Museum in 1872 and the Mac Brewery in 1877. During the 19th century, Tromsø became known as the Paris of the North. How this nickname came into being is uncertain, but the reason is generally assumed to be that people in Tromsø appeared far more sophisticated than visitors from the South typically expected. Early 1900s, exploration and war by the end of the 19th century, Tromsø had become a major Arctic trade center from which many Arctic expeditions originated. Explorers like Roald Amundsen, Umberto Nobile and Fritjof Nansen made use of the know-how in Tromsø on their conditions in the Arctic, and often recruited their crews in the city. The Northern Lights Observatory was founded in 1927. When Germany invaded Norway in 1940, Tromsø served briefly as the seat of the Norwegian government. General Carl Gustav Fleischer arrived in Tromsø on 10 April 1940 after flying in terrible conditions. From Tromsø he issued orders for total civilian and military mobilization and declared northern Norway a theater of war. Fleischer's strategic plan was to first wipe out the German forces at Narvik and then transfer his division to Nordland to meet a German advance from Trondelug. The Germans eventually captured all of Norway after Allied support had been withdrawn, although they encountered fierce resistance from the Finnmark-based Alta Battalion at Darvik. Tromsø escaped the war unscathed, although the German battleship Tirpitz was sunk by the RAF off the Tromsøy Island on 12 November 1944, killing close to 1,000 German soldiers. At the end of the war, the city received thousands of refugees from Finnmark County in the North Troms area, which had been devastated by German forces using scorched earth tactics in expectation of the Red Army offensive. Late 1900s, today, rapid expansion expansion after World War II has been rapid. The rural municipalities of Tromsøysund and Olsfjord, and most of Hillesøy, were merged with Tromsø on 1 January 1964, creating today's Tromsø municipality and almost tripling Tromsø's population, from 12,430 to 32,664. In addition, the population growth has been strong, with at times more than 1,000 new Tromsø varering annually. The population of Tromsø municipality today is 68,239, and the urban area, Norway's ninth most populous, is home to 58,486 people. This excludes most of the city's students, however, who often do not change their address when moving to Tromsø. A major development was the opening of Tromsø Airport in 1964, situated on the main island, and in 1972 the University of Tromsø was opened. At the time one of the four universities in Norway and the only one serving the northern half of the country. A local teacher's college and museum were eventually incorporated into the university.
The Norwegian Polar Institute was moved to Tromsø from Oslo in 1998. More recently, the university has expanded further through two mergers, first with University College Tromsø in 2009 and then with University College Finnmark in 2013. Municipal history The city of Tromsø was established as an independent municipality on 1 January 1838. The city was completely surrounded by the Tromsø land district but they were governed separately. As the city grew in size, areas were added to the city from the rural district. On 1 January 1861, an area of Tromsøysund was transferred to the city of Tromsø. On 1 January 1873, an unpopulated area of Tromsøysund was transferred to the city. On 1 July 1915, another area of Tromsøysund was merged into the city of Tromsø. On 1 January 1955, the Bjørkaker area on Tromsø was transferred from Tromsøysund to the city of Tromsø. On 1 January 1964, a major municipal merger took place. The city of Tromsø, the municipality of Tromsøysund, most of the municipality of Olsfjord except for the Svensby area, and most of the municipality of Hillesøy except for the parts on Senja were all merged to form a new, larger municipality of Tromsø. Toponymy The city of Tromsø is named after the island of Tromsø, which it stands on. The last element of the city's name comes from Danish O, island, but the etymology of the first element is uncertain. Several theories exist. One theory holds Troms to derive from the old name of the island. Several islands and rivers in Norway have the name Tromsø, and the names of these are probably derived from the word Stram which means current. Another theory holds that Tromsøya was originally called Lille Tromsøya, because of its proximity to the much bigger island today called Kavaloya. That according to this theory was earlier called Stor Tromsøya, due to a characteristic mountain known as Troma. The mountain's name in Sami, Rumbukoka, is identical in meaning, and it is said to have been a sacred mountain for the Sami in pre-Christian times. The Sami name of the island, Romza, is assumed to be alone from Norse, but according to the phonetical rules of the Sami language, the frontal T has disappeared from the name. However, an alternative form, Tromsø, is in informal use. There is a theory that holds the Norwegian name of Tromsø derives from the Sami name. Though this theory lacks an explanation for the meaning of Romsø, a common misunderstanding is that Tromsø's Sami name is Romsø with a double S. This, however, is the accusative and genitive form of the noun used when, for example, writing Tromsø municipality. In Finnish, however, the word is written with a double S. Tromsø, coat of arms. The coat of arms of Tromsø was devised in 1870 and is blazoned, Azure, a reindeer trip and argent. It is often surmounted by a mural crown with five or four turrets. The municipal authority currently uses a stylized rendering drawn by Halvard Trajetterberg and adopted by royal resolution on 24 September 1941. Geography Tromsø is the eighth largest municipality in Norway with a population of 71,590 and the centre of the ninth largest urban area, with a population of about 60,000. The city is home to the world's northernmost university and also houses the northernmost botanical garden and planetarium. The city centre is located on the east side of the Tromsø Island, over 300 kilometres north of the Arctic Circle at 69 degrees 40 minutes 33 seconds north 18 degrees 55 minutes 10 seconds east. 69.675.83 degrees north 18.91944 degrees east 69.675.83 18.91944 Suburban areas include Kroken, Tromsdalen, the rest of the Tromsø Island, and the eastern part of the large Kvaloya, west of the Tromsø Island. 
The Tromsø Bridge in Tromsøysund Tunnel both crossed the Tromsøysund at Strait connecting the mainland with Tromsøy by road. On the western side of the city, the Sandanesund Bridge connects Tromsøy Island with Kavaloya Island. There are many tall mountains within the municipality including Hamperokan, G.A. Kavari, Storblamen, Storfornestenden, and Tromsdalstenden. The Lingen Alps mountain range lies along the Tromsø Lingen municipal border. There are many islands within the municipality of Tromsø, including Hilisoya, Kavaloya, Rebenasoya, Ringbasia, Summeroya, and Trimsoya. There are also several fjords that are located in Tromsø, including the Ballsfjorden, Kaldfjorden, Melangen, and Oldsfjorden. Climate Tromsø experiences a subarctic climate because winter temperatures are just cold enough to qualify and the summer season is short. However, the weather and precipitation are mountain pattern, with maximum precipitation in autumn and early winter, as well as lack of permafrost, are atypical for subarctic areas. The warming and moderating influence of the Gulf Stream contributes to Tromsø having an extremely mild climate for such a northerly area, with seasonal differences in temperature also being rather small in spite of the massive fluctuations of daylight. Tromsø has reputation of accumulating a lot of snow in winter, but on the streets of the city ice often prevails, especially in the first half of the winter. Despite its northern location, Tromsø's snowfall pattern is quite erratic and varies substantially between different winters. This erratic snowfall pattern is due to the fact that Tromsø is within the Gulf Stream area of influence and often gets wet but warm spells, bringing rain that melts or wets existing snow. This is often followed by chilly windy arctic blasts, creating the famous dangerous ice driving and walking conditions. It is common to see Tromsø inhabitants walking with spikes in their shoes and almost all cars use studded decks. The all-time record for snow depth was set on 29 April 1997, when the meteorological station on top of Tromsø recorded 240 cm of snow on the ground. In an average winter, Tromsø sees 160 days with at least 25 cm of snow on the ground. Temperature averages are for the period 1961 to 1990 for the main weather station, located at the Meteorological Institute's office on the top of the island. Extremes are from the same station for the full period of record through 2010. The lowest temperature ever recorded is minus 18.4 degrees Celsius in February 1966. However, at the airport, also in the city, the lowest ever recording is minus 20.1 degrees Celsius in February 1985. These cold extremes are extremely mild for such a northerly location and are actually milder than winter normal highs in much more southerly areas, elsewhere such as in central Siberia and boreal Canada. The January average daily maximum is minus 2.2 degrees Celsius. Summers are rather cool, with average high and low temperatures in July of 15.3 degrees Celsius and 8.7 degrees Celsius. The highest temperature ever recorded is 30.2 degrees Celsius in July 1972. Outside the city, large areas in the municipality are above the tree line and have an alpine tundra climate. Despite being a full 10 degrees further north than the Norwegian capital, Oslo, winter temperatures are very similar. On the west coast of Kvaloya, climate data show a mean annual temperature of 3.9 degrees Celsius, mostly because winters here are 2 C degree, 3.6 F warmer compared to the city, making this part of the municipality a subpolar oceanic climate zone. Tromsø has the distinction of being the northernmost city on Earth where the average yearly low remains above freezing. The midnight sun is above the horizon from 19 May to 27 July, and the period with continuous daylight lasts a bit longer. Polar night from 28 November to 14 January. Due to the extreme maritime influence, temperatures above freezing are not uncommon during the polar night period. 
This is in stark contrast to nearby inland areas such as Swedish Lapland where winter temperatures are bitterly cold. Light and darkness The midnight sun occurs from about the 18th of May to the 26th of July, but the mountains in the north block the view of the midnight sun for a few days, meaning that one can see the sun from about the 21st of May to the 21st of July. Owing to Tromsø's high latitude, twilight is long, meaning there is no real darkness between late April and mid-August. The sun remains below the horizon during the polar night from about the 26th of November to the 15th of January. But owing to the mountains, the sun is not visible from the 21st of November to the 21st of January. The return of the sun is an occasion for celebration. However, because of the twilight, there is some daylight for a couple of hours even around midwinter, often with bluish light. The nights shorten quickly, and by the 21st of February the sun is above the horizon from 7.45 a.m. to 4.10 p.m., and the 1st of April from 5.50 a.m. to 7.50 p.m. The combination of snow cover and sunshine often creates intense light conditions from late February until the snow melts in the lowland, and sunglasses are essential when skiing. Because of these diametrically different light conditions in winter, Norwegians often divide it into two seasons, Morketide and Sine Winter. Tromsø is in the middle of the Aurora Borealis zone, and is one of the best places in the world to observe the aurora. Because of the Earth's rotation, Tromsø moves into the aurora zone around 6 p.m., and moves out again around midnight. As it is light round the clock in the summer, no aurora is visible between late April and mid-August. Villages Tromsø municipality includes these villages.